Do you know what you're seeing right now? You're seeing cyber warfare play out, right now, in real time. The software you're watching is tracking all DDoS attacks happening across the globe. And as I speak, websites and companies are under siege. Wait, what? Okay, so distributed denial of service attacks are when a team of computers repeatedly request data over and over again until it overwhelms the server, pushing the system offline. And although mass media rarely talks about it, because they never talk about anything of substance, if you go looking for it, you can find evidence of collateral damage everywhere. So I looked into it, and folks, we have some problems. In simple terms, DDoS is like a brute force cannon, shelling servers and IT infrastructure until it crumbles. And like currently, most DDoS attacks originate from hacktivists trying to silence the Westboro Baptists, or angry teenagers trying to win at Xbox. Shut but within the last year, experts noticed we're witnessing a wave of DDoS attacks that have become increasingly more powerful. The data we collect now suggests that uh, these DDoS attacks are being initiated by automated programs, much more sophisticated set of um, attack weapons. Mm -hmm, you know. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What you need to know is that they've become more complex, with the power to take down legitimate businesses like Wells Fargo. Just recently, Cloudflare withstood a 400 megabit per second attack. They survived it, but they took a beating. And this is worrying, because as cyber warfare becomes increasingly more prevalent and powerful, our economy also grows increasingly more reliant on the internet. You see, when it comes to war, we like to think in terms of men and missiles. Whomever has more, wins. But reality is much less romantic. War is won or lost based on logistical power, resources, the ability to sustain an economy under duress. Germany lost World War I in large part due to the British naval blockade their resources dried up. And Japan lost World War II not due to atomic bombs, but an inability to maintain supply lines in Indochina. And the South? The South lost the Civil War not because of lack of bravery or intelligence, but lack of railroads and naval blockades. So immediately, we can see ISIS is not a threat. They have few men, even less missiles, and no economy. These clowns are just an annoyance. <laughs> No, DDoS attacks make me realize the next serious threat will be going to war with another highly industrialized society, say China or Russia. For the first time, I think full-scale war will come through the internet. And this is something to be wary of, because it will be new territory. But my guess is the battles will be more insidious and invisible to the eye. If you're wondering why I'm so concerned, it's because we need to recognize in 2015, the internet dictates every aspect of our life. The internet controls time, software and firmware updates. It allows us to communicate effectively and for news to travel. It makes sure our cargo ships arrive on time and our planes land safely. It allows our stock markets to run. It's how you're watching this video right now. The internet has become the foundation upon which all our logistical power and commerce is dependent. And large internet economies like the US have make us rich, but it also makes us a fat target. Because we're so integrated, we're also really vulnerable. If a country were to attack us through the internet, it would be catastrophic. To understand what I'm talking about, hacktivists have to infect each individual computer through malware. An actual country could just build more servers and more computers. A foreign nation like China could launch a barrage of DDoS attacks with a might that's so unprecedented, it's one I'm not sure we could withstand. Large-scale waves of DDoS would shut down servers across the country. Banks down, stock markets down, logistical software running on servers would go down, communication would go down. We would suddenly find ourselves very literally in the dark. And currently we have no good defense against this type of warfare on that size or scale. In fact, a country could be building an internet arsenal right now, and we wouldn't know it because we're looking for stockpiles of bombs, not servers. In the United States, we kind of like to think we're strong and powerful, and we may be, but this is a brave new world, and right now we're an armored knight in the age of gunpowder. So keep an eye on DDoS attacks. My guess is they'll be a bellwether for the future. <laughs>